That's it. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about playing lead guitar. The patterns you just finished were called rhythm parts. They're usually used to back up singing or other instrumental parts. Now we're going to talk about how to create solo or lead parts that fit over those background parts. Most guitar solos are created from a fingering pattern called the pentatonic scale, or the blues Bach pattern, that looks like this. Go ahead and try it. Put your pinky on the first string, eighth fret, and then the first string, fifth fret, second string, eighth fret, second string, fifth fret, third string, seventh fret with your third finger, third string, fifth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fifth string, fifth fret, sixth string, eighth fret. 6th string, 5th fret. From that scale, you get licks that sound like this. The way you do it is by learning certain techniques and patterns. Slides, bends, double stops, mode of patterns, and so on that we're going to talk about now. The most important technique is called the bend. Do this. Put your third finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret. Put your other fingers on the string, pluck it, and then push up so that it sounds like the note at the third string ninth fret. You can do that on any of the notes in the scale. some of the notes from the scale and you've got a lick. To learn how to solo, you need to learn a lot of licks. Here's a good collection using all of the common techniques to get you started. <laughs> 